I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on angles in polygons. In this video, we'll talk about inscribed polygons. I've taken regular pentagon and hexagon in this particular example. The question is, a regular pentagon is inscribed in a regular hexagon as shown in the figure. Find the sum of angles C and D. Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now to begin with, let's uh, uh, recall that the angle in a pentagon is 108 degrees. So in a pentagon, we can find this very easily as sum of angles will be equal to number of triangles will be n minus that's the general formula n minus 2 times 180 since those many triangles can be formed right now in this particular case for a pentagon the sum for a pentagon will be how much n is 5 so if n equals to 5 then the sum of angles will be 180 times 5 minus 2 uh, which is 3 right so that is the sum of angles in a pentagon now in this we get 540 right which is 0 and uh, 3 times 540 now each vertex is same so each angle will be 540 divided by 5 so we get 108 degrees okay. for a hexagon where n is equals to 6 in that case it'd be 180 degrees minus 6 minus 2 which is 4 right and each angle in this case will be 180 degrees times 4 divided by 6 right so when you do that that goes 30 right and so you get 30 times 4 as 120 degrees so for a hexagon the angle here will be 120 degrees right so we're talking about the inside angles right so that is known to most of the students now that should help you to find the sum of angle c and d now to find this angle let's do some other construction let us assume that this angle here is x and the angle on the other side is y right now now we can actually consider uh, the triangles so let's consider this particular triangle. Okay, so this is on the pentagon and vertex of pentagon is on the hexagon, right? So if you consider this shaded triangle, in that case, sum of angle X plus C plus 120 degrees is equal to 180. That is the sum of angles in a triangle. So we can say that C is basically equal to 180 minus 120 right, minus X. So which is equal to 60 minus X, that is C. Similarly, we can now consider the other triangle. In the other triangle, also this angle is 120 degrees and therefore we get that this time we are saying this is y so we have y plus d plus 120 degrees is 180 so we can say d is equal to 180 minus 120 minus d and that gives you oh, sorry y okay so that gives you d as 60 minus y now if you look into the angles at this point now that sum should also be 180 degrees is a straight line correct so in that case what happens so we get x plus y 
plus this angle which is 108 here right this is same so in that case we get that x plus y plus 108 degrees is equal to uh, 180 degrees so so we can say what is x and y well i could have written this better in terms of x and y so instead of isolating d let's isolate y so y will be equals to 60 minus d and here x will be equals to 60 minus c right so we'll call these as our equation number one and two and we'll substitute these values in equation number three that would be better right so x is 60 minus c, so we'll write this as 60 minus c, plus y is 60 minus d, plus 108 equals to 180, correct? So here we can get sum of c and d by taking them on the right side. So 60 plus 60, let's write like this, 60 plus 60, plus 108 minus 180 is equal to c plus d, which we need to find, correct? So now we can figure it out. So what we get here is add these, so we get 8, and 6 and 6 is 12, 2, 1, and this one, 228 minus 180 is C plus D. So that gives you 8, and then 12 take away, this is 48, so 48 is sum of angle C and D. So option C is the right option, is that clear to you? So that is how we can actually solve such a question. So the idea is to look at the points on the straight line, right? Equate the angles to 180 and equate the angle of a triangle to 180 to solve similar questions. Now, I hope with this, if I give you any shape inscribed in any other regular shape, it should not be very difficult for you to figure this out. So you could try with heptagon and hexagon as one of your examples. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.